Welcome to Reef and Pondwise. It's another beautiful night in the hobby. And tonight we are going to talk about the reef tank that's in my living room. I got a question from South Park Reef Man about my rose bubble tip anemone. So the question was, see that orange coral there? Uh, won't this anemone sting that coral eventually? And the answer to that question is no. And in the question from South Park Reef Man, his concern was it looks like there's a skeleton that's exposed on the edge of that coral. And indeed, that is not the case. These are mushrooms, guys. This is called uh, an, an orange crush redactus mushroom from Worldwide Corals. And there's about 12 or 13 of them on there. I keep on putting rock underneath them and having them grow over the rock and I keep taking them to my local fish store and I sell them for $50 and then these guys will sell them for 100 So they basically double their money. I keep on getting room in my tank and they continue to grow but they're beautiful coral. But the rose bubble tip anemone, to answer your question, would be definitely uh, sting that coral if it was constantly touching it. But as you can see, that is a little baby uh, that's just getting started. And maybe the edge is a little curled up to protect itself from the rose bubble tip anemone. Uh, the rose bubble tip anemones are very, very well known to sting surrounding corals. But you can see there's a couple of things that I've done with this particular specimen to protect the rest of the coral in the tank. And one of them is the rock that you see behind the anemone. So what happens is this guy will come out, reach for the light, and basically be like this most of the day. And then you can see where he comes out from the bottom of the tank all the way down to the bottom. And that's where his foot is. And then each day he extends his tentacles all the way up to the light at the top of the aquarium and pretty much keeps himself suspended in the water uh, away from all the other corals. Now the reason that this is happening is because of that pump. That is a JBO 120 SCP cross flow pump. And what happens is the water will flow across the top of the tank, which is why you see all the waves, it'll come down on this side of the tank and then it will come at the bottom of the tank all the way across the bottom which is why this anemone is floating upwards towards the light so to answer your question South Park Reef Man no this anemone does not sting any coral, coral because there's not very many coral around it and in the future as I get into a bigger tank which is my goal I'm going to have either a 300 or a 1,000 gallon tank here pretty soon. Um, all this will be rearranged, and one eighth of whatever tank I get is going to be dedicated to this rose bubble tip anemone because this guy is absolutely one of my favorites in the hobby, and I've had him since day one. Now, keep in mind, if you have a tank like this, my tank is a mixed reef tank which is a little bit harder in my opinion to keep because they have to have uh, s pristine water conditions to thrive. And this maroon clownfish that you see right there hosts that anemone and he never strays too far. But I hope that answers your question on the rose bubble tip anemone. You have to block them and I'm gonna show you from the side here what I've done in terms of that rock behind him that actually protects the rest of the coral and as you can see there's a leather coral that's growing on the other side and the tentacles just never kind of reach over so you have to get to a position in the hobby where you can kind of learn how to block the anemones if you're going to have an anemone in your tank because they will move around if they're not happy this one has been in the same spot for about two years uh, because he's happy and if they're not happy they'll float around move around the tank and find a happy spot and until they do they'll keep on uh, stinging other coral so 
again, I hope that answers your question, Reef Man. And thanks for uh, chiming in. Appreciate the comment. And uh, guys, remember, anyone can build a reef, but it takes someone special to keep one. And that someone special is you.